My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a striking 1956 Chevy truck, LS1 motor, lowered down, red interior against this robin's egg blue. It is just a gorgeous truck. Go to volocars.com and that's where you can read all the specs, study all the pictures, and get the price. Not only on this one, but we have a few hundred collector cars all for sale. If you enjoy the videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Right now, let's go for a spin in this beautiful 56 Chevy truck. I'm going to be very frank with you. The truck is gorgeous. Like I said, it's been frame off restored. The whole chassis is painted the color of the body. This is not a high level uh, restoration. It's not um, pristine, but standing here, it's gorgeous. This is a good runaround vehicle, good driver and it's about $30,000 less than the last one I just sold that was pristine. And I'll explain all this in detail. Uh, but underneath, yeah, the body was off the frame. The entire chassis, the frame, suspension, everything is painted this color, so it's real sharp looking. Uh, the frame has been boxed. In back, they had to notch out the frame and weld it in. They did a nice job of it because they lowered the truck. They flipped the shackles on the spring, so the rear end has clearance now in the frame. Uh, the front end is all stock independent suspension, but it looks like it's all been replaced. You know, the shocks, bushings, ball joints, does have disc brakes in front. Uh, it is the uh, LS1 all aluminum 5.7 motor. So it has an aluminum oil pan. It's got a new high torque starter. It has the 4L60E, that's the electronic shift overdrive automatic. 10 bolt rear end, new custom uh, fuel tank, uh, the custom electric fuel pumps for the uh, fuel injected motor. It's got a nice fat exhaust with some Flowmaster mufflers that dump out. I forget if it's right before, or right after the rear end. Um, there is a power brake booster. It looks new. That's underneath the truck. So underneath it's really good. Uh, up here, the grill is new, bumper's new. There's some real light pinstripe here. They did a nice job. Louvered hood, they did a really nice job. But there's some burns in the paint. Here's a little thin spot right here. A little thin on this edge here. And it's not straight as an arrow. It's got a little waviness. They just didn't finish. Like, it's a little dry around here. They didn't polish this out real shiny. Like, this is just sprayed and not polished. Door handles are new. So when I say it's not pristine, that's what I'm referring to. There is a chip from the bottom up, and it chipped the paint off right here. Another spot where the paint's rubbed a little thin. It's rubbed thin on top of the tailgate. This is a custom tailgate. Here's your tail light, and here you'll, I'll light it up in a little bit. Obviously, this is all custom. There's no bumper, so it's a smooth, clean look back here. Actually, if you look at the body, there's no trim, no emblems, no... No nothing, it's just a clean, smooth body. Really nice set of chrome American racing rims. They look new with some performance tires. Uh, it has all smoked glass all the way around, uh, new rubber seals. It does have the window channel around here. It looks like it's missing the bottom fuzzy strips right here. New mirror. It's a custom hood, it opens this way. And we'll figure it out together, because I've not done this before. There we go. That was simple. So that's a pretty cool feature there. I like how that opens. LS1 motor. The whole front of it's polished aluminum. The water pump. Uh, it's got the modern power steering with the uh, remote reservoir and stainless lines. It's got the billet uh, pulleys, the real nice pulleys with the serpentine belt. It's a Phytech fuel injection system up on top, stainless steel headers. Uh, now it does have an air conditioner with the bracket. It's not hooked up, so there's no heat in there. So if you wanted to buy the vintage air system, it does have a polished compressor, but it looks like you'll need a lot of the components. That's about three grand installed. 
Uh, Champion aluminum radiator, dual electric fans, got a polished overflow bottle. And then bam, that red interior just pops. I absolutely love the colors of this truck. Now I've not opened this tailgate before either. Oh, cool. I had no idea. Got this one lever right here and it swings open. It's been painted inside here. Uh, the wood on the floor is like a dark red glossy finish. It has stainless steel strap, uh, strips. The gas cap, it's a pop-up gas cap, is right there in the floor. All leather interior, really comfortable, reclining seats. It's all soft leather. The door panels are beautiful. Uh, it's got a leather-wrapped steering wheel on a tilt column. The dash pads, leather. Matter of fact, I smell the leather. Really nice center console. Uh, it's got a custom leather headliner, and the inside of the cab is painted that same red. It's got a new, uh, like, original-style instrument panel with the gauges. The whole engine bay is painted this uh, turquoise color. I think I'll start it up for you. It's got red seat belts, billet pedals, very comfortable. I'm six foot tall. I fit in here no problem. Uh, it's got a digital screen here for the fuel injection. It's got like a ratchet shifter with a really nice handle right here. Uh, it's a touch screen stereo. Honestly, I don't think it's hooked up. There's some wires. Uh, don't look like they're hooked up and it doesn't turn on. So there might be a little finishing someone would have to do uh, to this truck. Not the most perfect truck that I've had, but this is one of my favorites. I mean, the colors, the look, the LS motor, this red leather interior, it's just an awesome truck. It's all metal. The doors shut nice. The fit on the doors is nice. It's got a metal visor. Um, I'm just telling you it's not perfect because people see our pictures and videos and all the cars look perfect. I don't want you to get the impression that it is, but I will tell you it's honestly priced $30,000 less than the uh, 1952 that I just sold that was pristine. So there you have it. Visit volocars.com. Plenty of ways to contact our salesmen. They'll answer any questions you have or concerns about the truck, the process, the financing, the delivery. I just gave you my impression, but please, if you have questions, ask them. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be the first to see the next one that's posted. Thank you.